Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I'll show you how to design your blog post, custom blog post with Elementor Pro. And again, we'll use a free plugin to take it even to the next level called Ellie Custom Skin or Elementor Custom Skin. We've already discussed about Theme Builder. You can check out Elementor Basics playlist to learn about Theme Builder. Once you have Elementor Pro installed, click on templates and click on theme builder you'll be having this interface right so the easiest way to build a blog post is to click on add new and you just choose archive and you say blog archive click on create template and that will open up a template where you can design your archive page and these are pre-built by Elementor. All these templates are accessible if you have Elementor Pro. Uh, let's add this one or let's take this one. So I'll just click on insert. It will insert the template. You can of course use anything else. You can do it from the scratch. Well the archives page essentially has an archive posts widget. So when you're trying to create an archive page in theme builder it gives you an archive posts widget which you can drag in and it will give you the archives respective archives so here the archive posts will essentially give you all of the posts so here you can see that there are various options available for skin so you can select classic you can select cards and you can select full content so full content will essentially give that so it will also display the content right from within the archives page we don't want that now what if you want to design each and individual part of this archive posts so this whole card that you see is called a loop loop is a part of the archive template that repeats itself well there's no real way to do that with elementor of course you can pick which data appears over in this loop and you can style it using the style options but that's not what I'm talking about what if I want to have maybe an image box widget or what if I want to have a call to action but widget in this loop well this all can be done using a free plugin called LE custom skin so click on plugins click on add new go to the WordPress repository and install plugin called LE custom skin or type for LE skin you can see it's this one by dodaster.com just click on install and activate the plugin once you do you may have to refresh the page if you don't have it active already now we have to design a loop for our archives page else it will just be a collection of cards which are specified over here instead of the cards we can put any content or any widget by using this free plugin so how is it done so once you install this elementor custom skin plugin click on templates and click on theme builder theme builder is a part of elementor pro so don't ask me again theme builder you need theme builder for elementor pro now there's a new option called loop because of the le custom skin plugin you just click on loop and click on add new and we'll call it blog posts loop so once you design the loop you can simply pick it from this option and that design will be applied to each and every card in the archives widget so whenever you're designing archive posts it's really handy i'll simply close this pop-up now it's having the canvas template it doesn't matter if you have canvas elementor full width or the default template because it's just going to get the template or the elementor content from this template so let's say i just want to have an image box widget i'll just click and drag it since you have elementor pro you can get all the information by using dynamic options we've already discussed this in the we've also discussed this in the elementor basics playlist so you can design or pick any widget either from your third party or maybe from any other add-on or from Elementor Pro link each and everything to dynamic option since I told you this is going to be a post loop meaning it will have all the data related to a post so 
when you are linking it using dynamic tags you should pick options which are relevant to the post i click on this dynamic tag and image we can pick featured image and heading this can be the post title and this can be post excerpt since i don't have an excerpt for this particular post it won't show up instead of publishing this now if you try to publish this it will ask you for conditions since it's a part of theme builder you don't really have to publish this elementor custom skin loop rather you can simply click on this right arrow and click on save as template let's call it blog loop and i'll just click on save so that will be saved as a template now you can simply exit this interface or if you want you can simply publish it and set the conditions to archive page so you can say include archives and all archives or simply the post archive author archive or whatever archive you are trying to design since we are designing post archive you can pick posts archive from here anyway i'll simply remove this it's not required i'll exit this yes it will give me a warning no problem leave now in the archive template itself i'll publish this we'll set it to posts archive i'll save and close this we need to refresh this archives page blog page is essentially archive of all the posts on your site so by blog archive i mean a blog page so we will just click on the archive posts widget now within the skin you just click on that and you see an option called custom pick that and it lets us pick the template that we've created as you can see it's the blog loop and the blog loop is applied to each and every post and you can see each and every item is in the form of the image box widget since they don't have excerpts they're not shown if they have excerpt excerpts will also be displayed you can customize how many columns you want so if you want two columns if you want one column right this is really neat update now if you want to edit the template just click on this edit button it takes you to the template button now i'll edit this i'll click on edit with elementor let's add an icon you can basically put any elementor widget into this so i'll also let's think of something else now instead of this image box widget i'll delete this and i'll include the flip box widget we'll link it to the dynamic options icon we'll leave it as star heading i'll change it to the post title or let's change the heading of the front side to the post date so when it's published it will be shown and this will change it to post author so i'll change this to author name that will show the author name and when i hover over this this is when i want to show the post title post excerpt if there's available if it's available and we'll also link this to the post itself so i'll click on the back button remember we're designing the loop which will then be applied into this archive template it can be applied in any archive that you design with theme builder so the back side i'll click on back side this will be my post title i'm just clicking on the dynamic option and clicking the post title from here i'll change this to post excerpt if there's any and i'll change this to read post and the link should be post url so each of the loop item will take us to the so each of the loop item will take us to the individual post in the loop again i don't have to publish this i can simply click this and save as template i'll just say blog loop i'll click on save and that's saved as a template i need to refresh my blog archive we'll see if the design is automatically applied or we have to pick the design again it's not applied so i'll click the archive post widget there are two blog loops here so this is the one which is recently created they have the same name anyway and you can see that now the loop or the individual item is essentially the flip box widget with all the dynamic data it shows the post date 
and who wrote the post and when I hover over this since it's a flip box it will show me the post title and it will link to the post that's really great I'll click on update I'll also edit this I'll actually change the background of the front to an image and the image will not be any other image but rather a featured image we'll change it to full if you want that you can have addition play with additional settings so something like that you can customize whatever you want this time I'll simply publish it and I'll set it to archives save and close now this loop template will be available within each and every archive we simply have to refresh this page to see our changes in action so this is the newly created template you can see the effect being rendered over here you can change or set the number of columns in the blog post right all we did was we just put our elemental flip box widget into the loop and use the dynamic options to link them together and we get a blog with this design isn't it cool so all your blog posts or your archive page will look something like this more dynamic more engaging i think it's really great what do you think you can set the number of columns from here now there are a lot of options available in the pro version of this plugin which is le custom skin but i think free version is more than enough now that we have designed the archive page and we've set the condition to post archive how do you even set it well archives are dynamically generated by wordpress so you define the template and wherever this archive appears the design will be applied you cannot create the archive page itself of course for posts you can do archive page using wordpress settings which is what we'll do but other archives such as author archives and date archives are accessed only through url and you may have to link them either in your menu or whatever right so i just change the skin to a minimal one with this solid colors and i'll also change one more thing instead of saying that this is an archive i'll just drag in element heading widget into this now i don't have to style this heading widget right from the scratch i can simply copy and i can right click on this and paste style and i'll call this my blog you can call it whatever you want I'll now remove this archive title widget. Remember, this is all Elementor interface, so you can drag any widget. But for archive widget, you need to have the archive posts widget compulsory. So I'll publish or update this. So this is my blog archive. Now I'll go to my dashboard or the WordPress backend, in other words, and within WordPress. I'll go to settings, reading. So your home page under this, let's actually create a page called blog. So the URL of the page will be your website.com forward slash blog. I'll simply call it blog. I'll publish without changing anything in it. Once I've published that, I'll reload this reading settings. I'll just static page. Let's pick our home page. I'll pick a random page. Let's also pick our posts page, which is essentially our blog archive. So we just created a page called blog. So let's pick that. So I'll click on edit with Elementor. Now let's see if our blog is working. So if we access this page using the URL, we'll see what it has. Just like that, the blog page has the template that we specified using our Elementor Pro's theme builder, right? So this is accessible using free URL. Now we didn't design the page itself, but rather we set a design in Elementor Pro and we've set the condition to posts archive. So whichever page becomes the post archive, in this case, the blog page became our post archive 
and that's the reason why the blog page has the design of our blog archive don't be confused essentially you create a page in wordpress you design the template elementor template or the blog template set it to post archive and wordpress does the rest since this is essentially the collection of posts wordpress will look out for the template to display in this page since we published a template for collection of posts wordpress will take this design put into this page and that's the reason why you see all our greatest and latest creation over here isn't it cool that's how you design a custom fun and powerful archive page in wordpress using elementor pro and of course with the free plugin called le custom skin you can stop with the elementor pro plugin itself but if you want to really put any content in the loop such as the flipbox widget you can put your third party ultimate add-ons widget or you can make your own widget using unlimited elements and put it in the loop the possibilities are endless and that's really great right so that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed it i'll catch you in the next one if you don't have elementor pro you can get it from the link in the description also check out elementor basics playlist for more such videos on this this video is also part of, of elementor basics i'll catch you in the next one until then peace